Thank you so much, and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Thank you so much for all that you do. We appreciate you. Now on to the reading. Hi Taurus, this month I'm doing an angel card reading of eight cards with the Angels of Atlantis Oracle Deck by Stuart Pierce. I was guided at the last minute to do this and the angels they have messages to share through the cards so be sure to listen to your sun moon and rising signs and do that especially if something doesn't resonate with you beyond that thank you so much for listening and here's your reading immediately when I look at your cards the very first one that comes up is something very powerful it's got Archangel Haniel, the willpower card coming up in the position of now. This message coming from this card is saying, and the angels are saying to me, that there's something that you've got to handle. There's something that you are not mistaking because it is what it is. But it's something that if you don't handle it, it's going to get out of control. If it's already out of control, it's not as out of control as it may seem. In fact, what is necessary in the situation may really just be bringing things back to equilibrium. But it does show that um, things are not just on the surface. You know, um, it's a deeper situation that has to be handled. A conversation must be had, something, some talk, um, clearing the air, and this will bring about a new welcoming. Maybe not immediately, but <laughs> soon it'll come up, it'll bring a welcoming type of energy back into your space, or, you know, maybe this is something that has to do with you, and maybe, you, you know, what is that? What is this? Um, the questions that are coming up right now to ask you are, what are you not taking your own power in working? What are you, where are you giving away your power? Where are you not stepping into your power? How are other people stepping into what you're doing and maybe um, trying to get you to do things more the way they want them to be? Are there areas where you're not speaking up for yourself? Maybe taking the back seat more than you would like? Maybe pushing down your desires, your wants, your feelings, in spite of how you feel and for other people to feel comfortable. This is a good time right now, especially during the cycle that we're in. The angels are saying to go ahead and to speak your mind. But do so in a way that is soothing. But you don't have to appeal to anyone. But do so in a calm way that's calm for you. This may not resonate with every one of you, but this is coming up for someone, some people who are having some, some things that just need to be cleared. You know, some blockages are there. And right now is a good time to take care of them, is showing. And it's saying also to just breathe. You need more oxygen right now. More oxygen to clear your body, to just let things flow. So however, whatever that is for you, you know, do let me know at the bottom in the comments what that is. The next card coming up is Archangel Jephiel's Joy card. That's in the position of blocking or covering. Now this is coming up right here, and it's probably saying that what is not what has not happened in the last card was willpower and what's blocking that joy from coming through is um something having to do with you not utilizing your willpower that could be it because when i look at this card there's a dolphin that's diving up and it's just the the water is um reflecting from this beautiful gem orb that is um archangel Jephiel. 
which is why I love these cards so much because they don't have a person on them but they have these orbs of light you know of, of energy and of power and so that could be anything whatever you imagine it to be it could be a person for you it could be some someone with wings or something what does that look like for you what is that but the dolphin is jumping up in the air over the water through the water and up above it and it's about to go back into the water but it's facing in the direction of the card before it which is the willpower card so Archangel Jophiel and Archangel Hanael these two cards they have to do something with each other they're connected so something that's blocking you from taking action now on something has to do with you utilizing your willpower and you utilizing your own willpower will bring about a joy in you or you remembering your joy is your way to exercising your willpower in a very in very important situation I see here the next card coming up for you says card of the day, but that's, I'm sorry, the position that it's in. But the card is Archangel Raphael's communion card. And it's coming up in the position again of the card of the day. When I see this card position come up, for you, because this is a monthly reading and it's not a daily or um, a weekly reading, I would say this card has to do with the overall energy of the month which is very powerful. Immediately, I want to just tell you that the card is basically saying to get out and get amongst people. It's also saying that even online is going to be very beneficial. Communication with other people, exchanging ideas with other people, getting around other people, but keeping away from people who are uh, doing a lot of talking about things that are not moving forward or there's just expressing energies that are not as positive or they're expressing energies that are not a part of where you want to be but this month is a month to be present to be in the mix to be in the flow to be in the now that may be at some event that may be at a concert that may be um getting out going to some type of social event that is um, either on or offline. Some of you, this will be a webinar. Some of you, this is going to be some type of a some type of a special training. You know that you're looking to go to something you've been contemplating, thinking about. I see you probably making a decision on that. The angels say that it looks good. You've got the green light. This card has a green orb on it. Archangel Raphael says it is a good thing for you to do. So the next card. Um, let's see. So yeah, that may be back to this one. It's saying that whether it's on or offline, that it's good to mix it up. Just at least with three different people. I don't know why the number three is coming up, but it's, it's something about that connection piece. So I see a bunch of people in this card because you may not be able to see it that well, but get out and mix it up. And it could be a spiritual type of event. It could be something that's bringing you to transformation. I'm coming out with a course soon about that is for a group. Maybe it's talking about that. I don't know. The next card coming up is friends and family. Well, that's the position that this card is in. The card is Archangel Michael's enchantment card. Messages are just coming through so very fast. So if I sound all excited, that's why. So Archangel Michael's enchantment card coming up. The position, though, is friends and family. This card is showing that when you look at your friends and family, there's some energies there that are, are just there and you can't ignore them. You know, there's a magic in that. There's a magic in these people that are in your life that you're connected to, this interconnectedness. So there's that interconnectedness, that peace there with these people that you really do care about and even though some of you are dealing with some discontent with some people you know some issues with communication that it's this is card this card is showing um, and the angels are saying to to find the, the love in this you know to look on the bright side of it but to look at the magic that's there with you and these other people they may be weird, you may be different, weird, what have you. Everybody has something about them that we're learning to appreciate and other people are learning to appreciate 
eight about us. There's, you know, there's something there though that connects you. And it's like little stars that are in the sky that are connected to the universe, but they're all, everybody's all separate in some small way, but it is only an illusion because we're all connected anyway. So you're reminded to be the bigger person in this because you know how to. That's what the angels are saying to tell you about that. And maybe they are the people who are you're being asked to mix it up with more this month from the card that came right before it. The next card coming up, or the next position where the card is, is question. And this card in this position is Archangel Raziel's dreams. The question the angels have for you is, how are your dreams? And how are you sleeping? What is coming to you at night or in the day or as you're daydreaming or while you're sleeping at night? Where are you going? You know, where are you traveling to? Your dreams are holding some messages for you. Very clear, sometimes very clear, sometimes not so clear messages for you to take stock of. It's also a message right now to write those things down. If Even if it's a little image or something that you can remember, a little piece of it, and a way to remember your dreams is to, when you get up in the morning, to don't move around too much, but instead move very slow. And as you move very slow, make sure you have something to write with right next to your sleeping area. And when you do that, write down what is coming up for you right then. If you get up and start moving really fast, then you, you'll find that it's not easy to remember your dreams as much. But if you move slow and you take your time, you just ease out of the out of the sleeping area that you're in very slowly, calmly, you know, just breathing in and out and relaxing and things like that, you will be able to remember more, see more. So that's what's coming up. Some very strong messages are coming to you right now that you need to get, that you need to receive. So write them down. Do not be frustrated, though, if it's not something that you could write a whole book about because it's not so vivid or clear and the images aren't just coming out popping out at you but the messages you're still getting them though whether you even remember them or not all right so just be um just set your intention to to place some of your focus on that for the month be aware of that rather the other thing coming up the next position is immediate future the card coming up in this position is Archangel Metatron's Divine Intelligence card. So when I get this, the angels are saying that right now you're getting some heavy downloads of information that are assisting you with your creativity. They're assisting you, this, these things are assisting you with some projects that are on the table for you or they're, they're up and you're working on them right now. They're current. They're here. And so it's no need to wait, no need to worry about it, no need to rush it because you're going to use what's coming to you right now. And it's showing that the divine intelligence that's coming to you has to do with your dreams also, your daydreams and things like that, the visions you're holding on to. And call upon Archangel Metatron for extra guidance in that area but in the immediate future this is something that's going to happen and I would have to say that they're telling me probably about the first week of the month you you'll feel this you know something about this is going to make sense to you maybe it could be a person coming to you with some 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 insight some wisdom you know some something that's going to help to propel you forward uh, this could be you going back to school. Could be you getting into your studies more seriously, not procrastinating anymore. Looks like things like that. Um, getting some insight on how to make the material things come out more for you. All right. Instead of you just um, reading about them, um, imagining them being there, but it's gonna looks like come together even more. The next card position is finances. And Archangel Gabriel's inspiration card is there. And angels, they, I mean, they're saying that, um, where's your focus? What are you placing your energy on? And how is, are you, are you positive? Are you 
thinking positively? Are you thinking negatively? Are you on the fence? You know, how do you feel about your finances right now? You know, are you feeling absolutely elated about them? Could you be doing more? Could you be doing less? Is there something that somebody there, some message that you need to get that maybe you're not listening to? Um, and so it's also saying that to increase in the finances, <clears throat> to increase the finances have to, has to do with how you feel about yourself. So that immediately is saying to focus on the good. Focus on something that's positive and you'll watch and see those, those things are going to expand. Um, this could also be a connection that you have with other people that has to do with finances and maybe you're very inspired right now about what's taking place, what opportunities are there, and you're being motivated by some other people also to bring your finances to be more. I mean to, um, well I don't mean, but um, to to have more finances, more money, more more you know goodness in your life. But there's some people there that you're looking at, witnessing, and um, you're taking a look at, and you're like, wow, I want that too. So the inspiration that you may be feeling also from other people as you witness what they're experiencing, they're saying that this is a good attitude to have. Because what belongs to other people also belongs to you because it is oneness. You are a part of the universe and we're all breathing the same air all at the same time. So if someone else can have it, certainly you can have something like that also. But in a way that resonates and that is for you. In a way that you would most appreciate it and be able to utilize so stay at it, whatever it is that you're working on. Know that you feeling inspired is going to only bring about more of what you want. The next card coming up is Archangel Raziel's Intuition card. And it's in the position of what to take from the past. Taurus, you have a delightful energy that is intuitive if you're listening to it. If you're not letting other people overshadow you and, and tell you what to do or to you utilize you in a way that um, has to do with uh, doing for them and where they're not looking out for your best interests. Now, this, this doesn't happen to every Taurus. This doesn't happen to every Taurus all the time. But what to take from the past is to utilize your gut feeling and to what are you feeling at your stomach area. Some of you are also experiencing some um, some weight, extra weight gain from emotional stuff that you've been holding on to and um, to not worry about it and to not feel self-conscious about it is what's coming up from the angels that you'll be all right. You know, have just move your body, utilize your intuition to figure out where to be and where not to be. If people are giving you a hard time, then you may not need to be there. You know, you can get away from them, avoid them. You can um, focus on the positive. Because, of course, again, what we focus on expands and it grows bigger. So if you want to see the best way to utilize your future then use, using your intuition this month is going to prove to be very good, very good for you. That's It's telling you to take that from the past. So however that was for you in the past, to utilize that now. Use that in this situation that has come back into your life for you to learn this lesson from. I hope that all of you have a wonderful month. Thank you so much for all of your support. I love reading your comments and feedback. And this month, again, Happy Father's Day to the Fathers. And then, I appreciate you. Thank you for listening, liking, subscribing, and for sharing these videos and rating them. And if you'd like to work closer with me, please check out my website at naturallyhighlife.com for personal readings. And other things are on there also. Don't forget to follow me and connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whichever one of those sites that you find under the name Sarita Daily. 
also peace and blessings to you. And thank you all so much again for listening.